The Honor View 20 has arrived in India at a price of Rs. 37,999, which puts it head-to-head -head against the OnePlus 60. So, how does the View 20 fare against the 60? Should you buy the Honor View 20? Well, it's time to answer these questions. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bwom.com and welcome to our Honor View 20 review, where I'll answer all your questions around the new smartphone. But before we get started, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Skillshare, which is a great learning platform for anyone who's looking to learn something new this year. I'll talk more about Skillshare at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But now, let's talk about the Honor View 20. So this is the Honor View 20 and this is a phone I've been using primarily for the last 10 days now. Now I switched from my OnePlus 6 and I've used the OnePlus 60, but I had certain apprehensions while I was switching to the Honor View 20. Firstly, I wasn't sure I'll be able to get used to the punch hole design. I mean, say what you will, I wasn't as impressed by the punch hole design as say Akshay, who really liked it. I also had my doubts on EMUI aka Magic UI. See, I've always been a stock Android guy, so I wasn't really sure if I would be able to live with EMUI for long. And lastly, I had my doubts on the camera. I know the View 20 has a 48 megapixel camera, but we all know that more megapixels don't necessarily mean a better camera. So yes, I had my doubts on the Honor View 20, but after using it for quite some time now, well, things have turned out to be, how do I put it, surprising. But let's start with the not so surprising part of the Honor View 20 and that's the premium design. The Honor View 20 without a doubt is a looker. The glass back with its V pattern design is really striking and the almost bezel-less front makes up for a gorgeous looking phone. Plus, I really like the display on the Honor View 20. It's not AMOLED like the OnePlus 60 and yes, let me get this out of the way, I prefer AMOLED but the display on the View 20 hasn't disappointed me one bit. It's vibrant and it's pretty bright so it's visible outdoors as well. There's one slight complaint though and that's the lack of Gorilla Glass. Our View 20 as you can see has a few serious scratches here so if you buy this phone please use a screen protector apart from that yes there's the punch hole here but i've really gotten used to this most of the ui apps and games ignore the punch hole and since it's just a small hole it's not a problem at all plus i like the nice little animations honor has added to the punch hole let me show you so when you're on a call the punch hole shows you this even when you switch to the front camera there's this cool animation near the punch hole these are some nice touches that really add to the overall experience and what I really appreciate about the Honor View 20 is the fact that it's got pretty much everything covered. There's the notification LED on the top which is very tiny but gets the job done. The fingerprint scanner here is perfectly placed and it's super fast. Unlike the inconsistent in-display fingerprint scanner on the OnePlus 60. Honestly, I definitely prefer the physical sensor on the View 20. There's the USB-C port at the bottom and the headphone jack on the top which surely gives it a lot of points over the OnePlus 60. Headphone jack for the win. Yes, there's no wireless charging and some sort of water resistance would have been nice, but these aren't necessarily deal breakers. So yes, the Honor View 20 is a phone that looks and feels like a flagship. But another thing that's flagshipy about the View 20 is the performance. The Honor View 20 has flagship specs and we have the 6GB RAM version of the phone and this is a phone that's super snappy and that's saying something because I'm used to great performance on my OnePlus 6 and since this is a phone in the same price range, I was expecting great performance from this as well. And well, Honor hasn't disappointed at all. Be it gaming, usual day-to-day -day tasks or multitasking, the phone hasn't slowed down at all for me. High-end games like PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 run on high graphics settings and there has been no lag. And I like the fact that unlike the OnePlus 60 Snapdragon 845, the Kirin 980 is more future-proof. The OnePlus 7 will arrive with the new Snapdragon 855 and That'll make the OnePlus 60 with the Snapdragon 845 a little old. While the Kirin 980 on the Honor View 20 is a new 7 nanometer processor which can take on the Snapdragon 855. So yeah, it's more future proof. Anyway, if you're wondering about the benchmark scores of the View 20 and the OnePlus 60, take a look. It's clear that the Kirin 980 has an upper hand here. And well, we did a test of our own. We rendered a 2 minute 1080p video using Adobe Premiere Clip on both the phones. And the View 20 took 3 minutes 11 seconds while the 60 took 4 minutes 2 seconds. So yes, there's some difference when it comes to performance. And the great performance here has to be attributed to the really well-optimized Magic UI. It's still pretty much EMUI with Android Pie on board. And yes, I'm still not a fan of this UI, but after using it for so many days, I have realized that I can live with it. Firstly, because even though it has a number of pre-installed apps, 
I like that Honor lets you uninstall almost all of them, which is great. And secondly, Magic UI brings some really interesting features. There's face unlock here, which is really fast, similar to what you get on the OnePlus 60, so I really like that. There are also navigation gestures, which are a lot like the gestures on Mi UI, and I think it's a great implementation, although I haven't found a way to switch between apps, so that's a little disappointing. Another great feature is Digital Balance, yes, Honor's very own version of Digital Wellbeing, which shows me the average time I've spent on the phone, the apps I've used the most, and I can even set app limits and set a bedtime time, which grays the screen. It's a great implementation of Digital Wellbeing, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will find it handy. Magic UI also brings an easy projection feature, which lets you access a Samsung Dex like desktop UI by connecting your phone to a Wi Fi TV or monitor. But the twist here is you don't need a cable, it works wirelessly and surprisingly it works pretty well. I mean, I was expecting lag but in my usage things were pretty smooth. To be honest, using the Honor View 20 as a trackpad isn't the most intuitive thing. But I definitely think this feature can be handy for people who want to give a presentation or, you know, edit documents on a bigger screen. It's definitely a nice addition. Anyway, there are a lot of other great features I found in Magic UI and yeah, I can live with it. So the performance on the Honor View 20 is something that has really impressed me, but I know what you're waiting for, the camera performance. Well, the View 20 has the Sony IMX586 48 megapixel sensor and a 3D time of flight sensor, which is honestly pretty limited, since there are no 3D motion apps or games you can try to test the 3D camera out. Anyway, coming back to the primary sensor, the View 20 has a 48 megapixel AI ultra clarity mode. And if you're wondering how it fares against the 12 megapixel pixel binning mode, Take a look at these comparisons. Now honestly, some photos don't really have a lot of difference, but when there's really good light, the 48 megapixel AI mode does take some really detailed photos, so that's pretty nice. As you can see, the 48 megapixel photo is sharper and more detailed. Plus, in a 48 megapixel shot, you can always zoom in more, so that's a bonus as well. However, in low light, I prefer the 12 megapixel mode because it captures brighter photos thanks to its 1.6 micron pixel size. So yeah, I like the camera on the View 20, it takes sharp and detailed photos in good light, as you can see, but there's one small issue I have. Now these photos might look great and they look Instagram ready as well, but the View 20 generally captures photos that are warm. Almost every photo seems to have a little bit of yellowish tint in it. It's not a huge problem and photos generally look good, but sometimes the warm colors do seem unnatural. In low light, the View 20 captures bright shots. As you can see, these photos have a lot of light. But things are a little inconsistent here as sometimes the photos do not have a lot of detail and the noise creeps in. There's also the portrait mode here where the View 20 for some reason smoothens the face and before you say it, yes, I have beautification disabled. I mean, some photos look fine but when you zoom in, almost every portrait mode photo has a bit of a smoothening going on which kind of ruins some shots. Let me show you how it fares against the OnePlus 60. So here are a few comparison shots and well, spoiler alert, it's very, very close. Some photos look very similar, while in some photos, like this one, the 60 fares better, with more natural colors. But then look at this comparison. It's clear here when you zoom in that the View 20 has more details. Even in low light photos, it's very close. Generally, the View 20 photos are brighter, but I prefer the OnePlus 60's photos for the detail they offer. I also prefer the portrait mode on the 60 because the photos have slightly more detail and the colors are more on point. The Honor View 20 also has a night mode which works really well. Here are some photos with and without night mode and as you can see, it works really well here. Even when compared to the OnePlus 60's night mode, I prefer the shots from the View 20. They are just sharper and more detailed. So yeah, the night mode here is definitely great. When it comes to videos, the Honor View 20 has support for 4K, but there's no 4K at 60 FPS support, which is kind of a bummer. Anyway, here's a 4K video shot from the phone. And as you can see, the stability isn't all that great because there's no OIS, but the quality is really good. The details are nice, the colors are fine, and it's sharp all around. Compared to the OnePlus 60, the video quality is just a tad bit better than the OnePlus 60, but yeah, the 60 has more stability since it has OIS. Here's a 1080p video comparison, and here the video quality and stability are better in the 60 footage. So yeah, on the video front, the Honor View 20 is kind of a mixed bag. Okay, so concluding things on the camera front, I have been pretty happy with the Honor View 20's cameras and I think they're definitely great for the price, but if you ask me which is better, the OnePlus 60 or the Honor View 20, it's tough to say, but I'd go with the OnePlus 60 because its photos have more natural colors, the portrait mode is better and the videos are more stable. So yeah, there you have it. 
Moving on to the selfies, the Honor View 20's 25 megapixel camera takes decent selfies and well it's strictly decent. I mean some selfies have this weird beautification thing going on and some selfies just look over processed so, so yeah there are issues but it's not too bad it's definitely decent now. Okay so that was pretty much everything about the Honor View 20's cameras but moving on to more impressive things let's talk about the battery on the Honor View 20. The View 20's 4000 mAh battery has generally been very good for me. On most days the phone has managed to last me more than a day just take a look at the screenshots. And generally starting at 100% on a usual day which includes some Google Maps usage, some music, playing games, social media and mails, browsing etc. The phone would generally be around 40 to 50% by the end of the day which is really great. Plus I like how Magic UI always reminded me of apps that are taking up more battery which is definitely useful. And yes, the Honor View 20 does come with supercharged support. There's a 40 watt charger in the box, I mean the brick clearly says 40 watts. But weirdly the View 20 only supports 22.5 watt supercharge and not 40 watt supercharge 2.0 like the Mate 20 Pro. I say that because the Mate 20 Pro goes from 15 to 100% in just 50 minutes. Well the View 20 takes around 1 hour 20 minutes. Don't get me wrong, 1 hour and 20 minutes is amazingly fast and very similar to dash charge speed. So yes, it's still fairly impressive. Overall, the View 20 is pretty great when it comes to the battery and charging. Okay, so I hope I've answered all your questions and well, it's time for the verdict of our Honor View 20 review. Should you buy the Honor View 20? Should you buy the Honor View 20 over the OnePlus 60? Well, it depends. If you want an AMOLED display, water resistance, a more refined Android experience and slightly better cameras, the OnePlus 60 is the phone you should go for. It's that simple. However, the Honor View 20 at Rs 38,000 is a great flagship smartphone to buy with almost no compromises. It has a premium design with a headphone jack, a more consistent and faster fingerprint scanner, the new punch hole design, a flagship processor that's definitely more future proof, good battery life and super fast charging. So it all boils down to this, if you're okay with an LCD display that's really good and cameras that are just slightly inferior to the OnePlus 60. The Honor View 20 is a phone that I will definitely recommend. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Well, it's time now to talk about Skillshare, our sponsors for this video. Skillshare is a great learning platform with more than 25,000 classes in film production, animation, design, business, app development and more. So whatever your interest, Skillshare has you covered. So say if you want to learn about video editing in 2019, you can just go to Skillshare and take one of these great audio visual classes. Plus Skillshare is super affordable with its annual subscription costing less than $10 or Rs 700 a month. Skillshare subscription gives you access to unlimited classes and various perks and there's a really great offer for BBOM subscribers. Using our link in the description, the first 500 people can get 2 months of free trial of Skillshare Premium. So what are you waiting for? Check out Skillshare from the link in the description down below. Well that was our review of the Honor View 20 but if you still have any doubts around the phone, you can just comment below and we'll make sure to reply for the first hour after the video goes live. So yeah, comment below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends who have been confused between the Honor View 20 and the OnePlus 60. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well that's me signing off, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.